welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 150, NASDAQ up 149, S&P's up 23. Gold, gold contract up $48, trading at the price point of 19.15 an ounce. We have silver up $1.34, $21.85 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $2, trading $74.67 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up a full point plus eight ticks at 114.13. A 30-year up a a full point plus 21 ticks at 131 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar down 921 ticks, trading at 103,656. The euro is at 107, the yen is at 133, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we have had quite a market out here, folks. We take a look at the from highs to lows, what we've done out here today. Uh, bottom line, market, pre-market started up. We were up big. You were up at a price point of 39.38. You went down to 38.08. And the bottom line, you did a 76 run off of that, counter trend run. And uh, I suspect we're going to see right now. The last time we had juice on the way up was at this, we're at 38.83 and it's 38.66. So I suspect that's where we're going to probably try to close. So I suspect there's going to be a little weakness coming into the close. We all take a look at, uh, hey, it doesn't matter which way you want to go with this, folks. Uh, bottom line, well, first off, let's go take a look at the high volume equities because the high volume equities, they're all going to be all the banks. You got Bank of America down a buck 27. Charles Schwab's off 530. You get First Republic off uh, $42. Key Bank's off four. Huntington's off a buck and a half. They're, there's big numbers. Now, if we go to the KRE, which is the Regional Banking Index, we we're talking about, actually, this happened Thursday. Uh, it was, you know, one of the Tigers had told us in, in the den it was like ABC down. That's how I ended the program. A uh, bottom line is ABC down, all right. The, the stock just, uh, the equity just went from 56 to. 41. Now, if you take a look at this, what you have is this, is that it, the banks want to go down as the market wants to go down to the March 2020 deal. Um, you know, and, and inside the banking index, okay, they did it in three days. Uh, you can see the top of the KRE is that that 50, that the low is 27. We made it to 41. You're at 45. The volume's exploded, so the bottom line, you get a high volume low anyway. That's where this baby looks and that, that it wants to go to. Um, we go take a, you know, you what, you, what you did have is that you had Silicon Bank, that's South, Signature Bank of South. We'll see what ends up happening with uh, a few of these others, but they're trying to hold them up. That's, that's the bottom line. You got Western Alliance, uh, this one here. This has been all over the place. Most of these halts today have been just temporary halts. Western Alliance has just gone from a price point of uh, $72. It hit a low out here today of uh, $7. <laughs> and when I just stopped it right now, I believe it's about uh, $20 right now on the stop. Uh, maybe $28. We'll see where that shakes out. But uh, gold, we go to the gold contract. Gold contract caught another bid. Uh, gold contract up here trading up... Uh, $46. And, you know, you get 413,000 contracts uh, trading, and we're trading at the 365. Um, notes and bonds, that is like pretty amazing. So, this is the biggest move in the note and bond market uh, since March of 2020, since the COVID deal. Uh, and, bottom line is that you have, uh, well, let's put it this way. I know factually what you have is this is that what happens, folks, is that Registered investment advisors inside of the uh, commodity advisors, rather commodity advisors, they basically were shot 300 billion uh, of notes and bonds. And what happens is that 
that's one of the parts of the market that you actually know what they're doing because they, they, it's registered, okay? Well, they, they covered 200 billion of that, and that's what a lot of this is from Friday and today. Now, they have another 100 billion. As of, you know, b bottom line, about a uh, half hour ago, they got another 100 billion that they still have to cover. We'll see whether they're covered or not. But uh, so between them covering, between the Fed basically, you know, pushing, um, out the aspect that the way that the, the Fed has dealt with this, folks, is that they made a facility available for a year. And what the facility does is this. So picture the way that these banks are imploding is this, folks, okay, is that they buy notes and bonds. They bought them at prices that were higher. They didn't sell them. And bottom line, a lot of these notes and bonds are worth 60 to 80 cents on the dollar. Okay, now yeah, if, you, if you held them to expiration, yeah, you get your full amount. The mind blow of this is that what the Fed has allowed to do is that let's say that your portfolio is worth, let's say you, you had a, a dollar and it's really worth 80 cents. Well, the Fed is saying that, okay, we're going to still give you a dollar on the 80 cents, you know, to hold these banks up. There's going to be a lot more scrutinizing, there's no doubt about, number one, what's on their balance sheets um, and just how BK they actually are if, in fact, they had a mock them to market. This always comes down to a mock to market, folks, okay? It's just amazing that, you know, um, they keep getting away with the aspect that they don't have to mock things to market. If you don't mock things to market until you have to mock them to market, guess what? You're out of business, and that's the bottom line. And that's why... You've seen these other banks. Now, that's not even talking about the aspect of how the banks that are going down south. How much do they owe other banks? We haven't even got to that point yet. That's the, that's the bottom line. So, you know, this thing is not close to being over. What you're seeing out here now is a dead cat bounce, which is, which is normal, particularly after the, uh, the S&P finished uh, actually about a 1 to 1.382 ABC down. Recap out here, we have the Dow Industrials up 1820, NASDAQ is up 149, S&Ps are up uh, 21. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.